morning, my good friends. Welcome to the third episode of Morning Coffee with D. I'm grateful to be able to enjoy a good coffee with you. Mm, how sweet it is. Okay, the first day I was talking to you about negation, thinking backwards. I am not this, I am not that. I promise I will not do that again. And this is the reason since the do not, do not exist universe abhors a vacuum, is you're asking exactly the opposite of what you want by saying, I don't want that. Okay, and if you're saying, I am not a thief, I am not uh, a raper, I'm not uh, a criminal, just take the do not out and you're gonna say, well, I'm a thief, I'm a criminal, and I'm a raper, okay? So that th forget about the do not, okay? So exercise your mind to, to think forward. Okay, I was uh, coaching my grandson, who was three years old, how to play basketball, okay? And uh, when I'm saying there, you're not going, you're coming, you're becoming somewhere, okay? So I said to him, put your nose in the basket. So when you aim to an objective, your body is placed and you can't miss it. Three years old, put his nose in the basket and he was getting the basket in every time, okay? Just that thought there. Look at where you're coming to. Where are you coming to? What's your objective? I look at the, at the schoolyard there and I look at the little kids, you know, like they're about uh, six, seven years old there. And I see that uh, when they're seeing something that they desire there, their, their body is bending forward like if they were attracted, let's say, they saw their grandmother or uh, somebody that they love or something that they want, uh, it looks like they're attracted to it. So what happens to you? Why did you start to look everywhere else than what you want. You are what you want. You design your own life. Forget about what people think or what people want. You're surrounded, you know, you're surrounding, you're at the center of your surrounding. You decide what is your inner circle. And the first inner circle is the first six people, two in the front, two in the back and one on each side. You, you, you take a coin and you cannot, 25 cents or whatever, you cannot put more than six around it. Do you know that? Huh? Okay, nobody thought about it, but that's true. There's another thing, there's a lot of things about that number six there. The six people on one there, that's number seven, whatever. But that's for something else, okay? So you have to surround yourself, but how can you attract the people, the right people, that will appreciate what you are is by saying, honestly, I am, I need, I want. I was telling you yesterday that what you need is what makes you people attracted to invest in you. And if you're grateful, you know the, the exercise I gave you to write six things that you're grateful? So you look forward to find new things, okay? So expect new things, new good things to come into your life to be grateful for. And life will give you more. It's like, I'll give you an e example about so our good Lord and gratitude, okay? Let's say if I'm uh, the fair of the chance and I have to give everybody all what I have in one day, okay, to survive, okay? And one says, oh, you filthy rich, I'm jealous, you know? If the magic wand would exist, you would have disappeared and I would have taken your place, right? <laughs> okay? And then the other one, they say, I'm so happy and grateful that uh, I have this, th that I have the opportunity of getting that much money. I appreciate, you You know, I appreciate gratitude. You know, uh, gratitude is more worthy than, than the, the salary increase to get your employees, okay, to, to give you surrounding, okay. So, gratitude is very attractive very attractive and then make sure that the people which are surrounding you are just not just not admiring you just that they're there to be part of your inner circle you have to participate in the development of your existence you see universe abhors a vacuum 
If, so, if your family says, I miss you, well, you're creating a vacuum, you're going to get replaced. I'm telling you that. So you take care of the people which are taking care of you. And then everyone of your surrounding is surrounded with at least six people, including you. So this is how your, your, your surrounding develops in a certain way. This has nothing benign. It is very important to start because another subject that I'm going to have next time is the golden number of divine proportion is how does your surrounding develop one way or another. So I'll see you tomorrow. And until one, I hope that you're going to be having a perfect day. So enjoy your life. Do the exercise of gratitude every day so that your mindset is putting your nose in what you want. Become. Instead of be going, becoming what you love. Have a great day.